Welcome. In this video, we'll look at congruence standard 12 from the Common Core Standards. The standard here is to be able to make these six geometric constructions using a variety of tools. In this video, we'll focus on how to construct parallel lines using a compass. Before we get started, it's important to understand something about the relationship between angles and lines. Notice when the lines are not parallel, these angles are different from each other. But when the lines are parallel, these angles are exactly the same. And the reverse statement is true as well. If we can somehow arrange for these angles to equal each other, then the lines will have to be parallel to each other. By the way, this makes sense from the standpoint of this visual, where you can see when I put the lines together so that they're the same line, these two angles are actually the same angle. So no wonder they're congruent. Okay, so in this task, we're given a line, and we're given a point that's not on the line. And our goal is going to be to construct a line through the point that's parallel to the given line. We'll start by selecting a point on the given line, doesn't matter where, and we'll take our straight line tool and draw a line that starts at that point and goes through the given point. In general, what we're going to do here is take this angle that's formed and try to make a copy of that angle up here. And if we can succeed at that, then we'll have a parallel line. Okay, so in order to do this, we're going to use our copy and angle construction. So I place the pointed end of my compass here at this point on my line, and I need to draw a part of a circle so that it intersects uh, both the original line and the line that I created. We'll do the same thing up here through the point that we were given. and then we'll measure the span of the angle we made. So we'll set our compass to the exact uh, distance between these two points. My compass says they're 281 units apart. Whoops. And so I'll go ahead and place the spike of the compass at this point where these um, arcs intersect the line. The compass is still set at um, 281 units. And so when I go ahead and draw this arc, I can be confident that every point on that arc is 281 units from that point right there. Okay, so with that, we now have a point that we can connect to our given point using our straight line tool. And the line that results should be parallel to the original line. And that's how to construct a parallel line using a compass. Uh, once again, just to look at the why behind this, I'm going to go ahead and connect these two points and these two points. And what we've done is we've essentially created a replica um, of this triangle up here. And that's why these angles are the same. As long as those angles are the same, we can be sure that these lines are in fact parallel. Thanks for watching.